Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a moss pole and plants on planks video. I have to swap out my burlap pole with this uh, sleek plastic moss pole, so I'm going to get that done. I also have a few Baltic Blue Pothos cuttings that I want to pot up on my plants on planks. And then I have a small little elephant ear cutting that I took off of uh, one of the mother plants outside. I've been rooting it in my perlite prop box, so I want to take that out, pot it up in some soil. It's going to be an action-packed video, so let's get started. Ta-da! Okay. Before I remove the burlap pole, I'm actually gonna put some of the moss in the moss pole here. So I'm just gonna stuff it in. I did kind of pre-soak, pre-moisten it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna stuff it all in here. I'm gonna use this little bamboo stick just to help me poke it down into place. And I'm actually gonna be placing a support stake um, lower in the pot here as well. So I'm gonna place that at the back of the pole here just to give it a little bit more stability. And we'll go from there. I'm just gonna stuff all this in. Hopefully I have enough. Otherwise I'm gonna have to run out and get some more moss. I don't typically use moss a lot. I don't keep a lot on hand. So I'm just gonna stuff it all in and Hopefully I have enough. The reason why I'm trying a moss pole with my monster is the aerial roots are actually trying to grow into the burlap, but it's just a little too dense, I think, for those uh, roots to, uh, to grow onto. So I'm gonna switch this out and see if I can train the plant to uh, latch onto the moss. And uh, it's still growing upright, so it's still a a achieving what I want, those larger, uh, more fenestrated leaves. That's the goal anyways. Plus I don't want to admit it just yet, but I think I'm actually becoming a fan of these uh, moss poles. These ones specifically, like this casing, I love. It's super easy to put together. These were given to me in my last order by North Shore Tropicals to try out. And I'll show you uh, one that I recently used on a uh, smaller little uh, philodendron Tahiti. The roots are already growing into the moss, which is quite surprising. So I don't want to say I'm quite sold on these moss poles yet. I still want to try um, a few more different types of plants, but so far the results are, they're pretty good. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I did have a comment in that Tahiti video of someone saying that they see other plant YouTubers uh, have these type of uh, plastic things opened up first, put the moss on top and then you assemble it. Um, I find it pretty easy this way. It's, it's not messy at all. Like I'm uh, actually really impressed with how easy this process is. So I'm just stuffing it in. I actually might have enough sphagnum moss here. That's the reason why I didn't want to try moss at first is just because, well, I am kind of making a mess here, but it's extremely messy if you use those DIY methods of kind of that plastic mesh and you make your own uh, cylinder and then you add all the moss in it. This is just a really easy way uh, to kind of contain that mess. And yeah, I don't have to use zip ties or anything like that. They just literally snap together. It actually weighs quite a bit and that's the reason why, okay, I got moss falling out the top here. That's why I wanted to use this bamboo support stake. So I'm just gonna size this up here first because I want the moss pole to be seated right on the soil. So something like that. That's gonna be, and then I'm just going to push this right through the bottom. So it comes out. Oops, dropping moss. Okay, it is a little bit of a messy project. So it's coming out the bottom. And again, I'm just gonna size this up. So I want this bamboo stake to be right on the bottom of the pot, something like that. And I can adjust it um, as needed. So yeah, it's just sticking out the bottom, just adds a little bit more support, more stability. And I do have a section at the top here that is sticking out as well. If I ever have to extend the moss pole, then I can put another plastic uh, casing over top of this one and just continue it on. So yeah, this is my setup I'm gonna start with here. I'm really impressed with that. Okay, now I'm gonna clean up some of this moss. Now I'm going to remove the burlap from this Monstera. I do have these plant ties as well as uh, some twine holding this up. Let's see if it actually stays upright. 
My goal with this plant is to continue to uh, let it grow upright, but at some point I do want to do the uh, chop, prop and chop method. I'm just gonna take that out. So it's actually staying upright on its own. Okay, so that was easy. I'm just gonna push this down a little bit. And I want these little plastic tabs to go down into the soil as well without breaking them. I am hearing some cracking. I'm just gonna dig these little plastic feet down. Just because I don't want them to be bent. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to push this support stake right to the bottom, that's as far as it goes. So it's pretty stable. Now I have to position this right in the moss, something like that. Now I'm going to use this plant tie and just secure it to the moss pole, just around the back, something like that. I know I'm gonna get a comment, so I'll explain it right now. This is dollar store tape, so the, uh, the, the soft uh, portion is actually the green part, so I want that facing the plant, and the white is the uh, kind of the abrasive of Velcro, which you want facing away from the plant, so this technically should be green. I don't know why they made it white. And now I'm gonna come around, and just cut this off, and then I'm really gonna snug it up, make it nice and tight so that these roots come in contact with the moss. I actually might put another one up here as well. Here's kind of a zoomed out of the entire plant with the moss pole and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It looks like it's maybe a little crooked. Get up right. I did have to add another uh, plant support tie just at the top here. There's a little aerial root like on the back that I want to grow into the moss as well. Here's that new leaf coming in. Hopefully it's a big one. Hopefully there's uh, fenestrations, holes in the leaves. I'm gonna spray this one down, clean off the leaves as it's looking a little bit dusty and dirty. But otherwise, I'm super impressed with how this uh, project turned out. It was an easy process to set up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. And I like the little uh, bamboo stake here as added support. Okay, it's back in its spot. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm just gonna sneak in here. You can see there's the pole. Here is my Anthurium brownii. I do have it kind of leaning on one of the monster leaves as, uh, as this leaf needs a little bit of support just because it's so long. I wanna show this, look at this cute little guy, the newest little leaf. It's going to be massive because here is the last newest leaf and it's already like the size of my hand. So this one is just gonna be absolutely massive. That's uh, just down there. Uh, so yeah, I think it looks absolutely fantastic here. It's starting to fill into a nice little jungle setting in the corner. Um, so yeah, let's start the, uh, the next project. So next is my Baltic Blue Pothos. I wanna take these guys out of the pot, put it on the plank with the existing one here. This is a sad looking plant right now. Around here, we didn't have the Costa Farms Baltic Blue pots for quite some time. So uh, I found someone on Facebook Marketplace that had some cuttings. Uh, I think it was like $10 or something that I bought them. And my plan was to uh, chop them up, propagate them, put them all in like one pot and make a full pot. But I changed my mind and I wanna pot them up all together so that they can grow up this plank and get those larger mature leaves. I know it's gonna take a while for this process, but I just wanted to pot them all up together in this pot um, just to train them to grow upright. So yeah. That's what we're gonna to do today. So I'm just gonna take this plank out first. I'm just gonna slide it out. And just so you see, because I know I get uh, some comments of people saying um, they are worried about the wood rotting. There's no rot on here at all. It's not soft or anything like that. I water these plants um, quite often when they're on the plank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these cuttings out of the pots and then I'll put the plank back in and then I'll just re-add the cuttings and the soil. I'm actually curious to see what these roots are looking like as well. It's actually been in this pot for a while and it's only just starting to push out a new leaf. I don't know if you can even see it there. Just along the side, there's a new leaf just starting to form. So there's actually a pretty decent root system on this. So I'm gonna leave the soil 
on there. And I'm just going to squeeze these guys and take it out of the pot. Some roots. Okay, these guys are a little more root bound. It's got some roots encircling on the bottom. I'm just gonna see if I can separate these cuttings. I can't remember, it looks like there's three separate cuttings in this pot. So I'll have four cuttings, which is, which is pretty good. Here, I'm actually gonna switch out the pot. I'm gonna put it in something a little bit larger. So I'm gonna put that there, this cutting, I'm going to place right there. And then I will add a plant tie. So it's just gonna help me support that a little bit until I can get the rest of the cuttings in there. Just gonna add a little bit of soil into the back and into the bottom of the pot just so it'll help me keep this plant support from toppling over. I'm gonna tuck those roots down, and put some soil in. I'm just gonna hold this upright and then I have some tropical plant mix that I'm using just to backfill. Just dumping it in. Make sure everything remains upright and center. I can adjust everything a little bit better. So tuck these roots in. I'm fully expecting these to take quite a while to adjust to the, to the new pot, the soil, the plank, all that kind of stuff. And eventually all the leaves should start to grow, um, like they should start to turn and grow towards the light with my Soltec Aspect Grow Light, which I'll show you guys here the setup in a second. But I just wanna make sure this pot is nice and full. Once they start to grow up the plank, then I'll use the uh, little plant tape to secure it to spread off the plant and I think it looks okay right now. Not the greatest, there's like a little bare section right here, but uh, eventually this will fill in, so I'll put it back on the floor. These last two are a, uh, an alocasia regal shield and then this one I believe is a colocasia uh, elephant ear. Took it off the mother plant, I just sliced it off the side. It's got some roots, it was uh, propagating in my perlite prop box, so this is off of the uh, main portion of the stem and now it's got its own new plant growing out. And you can see it's got a tiniest little leaf. So I'm gonna be potting this up and then I'll be upsizing my regal, my regal shield. Oh geez, I can't say that today. So I'm just gonna add some soil. This is Promix's tropical, premium tropical plant mix. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of soil on the bottom. And then I'm gonna place this cutting a little bit like on its side, so the stem grows upright. Something like that. I don't want to plant it too deep, just because I don't want it to rot. And then I'm just gonna add soil around the sides. This pot might even be too big, but it'll grow pretty fast. Uh, same with this uh, Regal Shield. It has grown uh, quite, quite quickly. So just lightly packing it down and that is it. A little guy is potted up. Now this one you can see there is some roots growing around the bottom of the container so it definitely needs to be potted up as it continues to grow. Okay so I'm just gonna untangle Oh, it's already got a new little corm on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna take that off. Start another regal shield. There, start a whole new plant with that little guy. I'm actually just gonna put it right back in the pot. Oh, here's another one. Oh, there's three. That is crazy. There's one right there. And here's another one. It's got three. I'm gonna snip those guys off. Put it right back in the pot. Same thing, I'm just adding a little bit of soil to the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna place this one a little bit deeper just because the stem is thickening, thickening up quite a bit. It's very thin at the, at the base, 
but this portion is uh, is quite a bit thicker so i'm going to plant this a little bit deeper maybe something like that and i'm going to keep these little corms to the side The nice thing about using fresh potting soil as well is most commercial soils will provide some sort of fertilizer. Uh, this one says it provides uh, nutrients up to three months, so I don't have to fertilize or anything like that. So I'll be potting them with this pointy portion facing upwards. Uh, the new roots will grow from the bottom of the corm. So I'm just going to stick them in the soil, just slightly below the soil line. It's gonna do that just around the pot. Just eventually I'll have a nice full pot of the Regal Shield. Okay, I sprayed them off in the shower here. They're looking really good. I actually dumped this one over. There's soil everywhere, so I gotta, I gotta go clean that up here in a second. I'm gonna place these back on the floor underneath my Soltec Grow Light, and I'll show you guys uh, some video of how the plants on planks are doing. Otherwise, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate all the support. Take care, everyone. Bye.